Hey guys, Tyler here, trying something totally new to kick off Puzzle Game Month. The Room VR is my first ever puzzle game in VR. I literally bought a VR headset so I could play this specific puzzle game. I love the Room series. It's a very unique point and click adventure series that has just incredible mood and very good puzzles from time to time. Uh, Bloomsbury Police Station is awfully immersive and it's got a nice dark broody mood. Speaking of, it's getting dark, I should get back to work. So this is my newbie experience to VR. I'm gonna try to make it watchable and not nauseating. I don't think it should be that bad. I've just gotta push an analog stick to turn. I see, okay, teleport forward. Clean motion would have been cool, but that's fine. An old projector. Grab the projector handle by gripping the controller and moving it down? Oh, that's nice. There's been a dozens of disappearances in just a few weeks, but this is one of the strangest. So this is gonna be some sort of weird mystery uh, puzzle box, point and click puzzle combination. It's just one of a kind, let's get into this. The storage area of the British Institute of Archaeology, where the professor was last seen. How can someone disappear from such a secure building without anyone seeing him leave? Yes. Dr. Montgomery specialized in priceless Egyptian relics. He told colleagues he was on the verge of some great discovery. They say he had seemed distracted of late. This is the piece the professor was studying when he disappeared. A sarcophagus. Nothing else was missing. No evidence of a struggle or break-in. It doesn't make sense. I should check my desk in case the sergeant has left a report. Turn to face my desk. Okay, desk here. Teleport. That'll take some getting used to. Hmm. A peculiar old gentleman was asking after you. He gave me a parcel, said it would help with the disappearances. I swear the damn thing was making the strangest noise, though the constable told me I was hearing things. I put it in your wall safe if you want to see for yourself. Wall safe. Oh, that thing. It's, uh, wait, what? Pick up key. Ah. Open the drawer, pick up the key. Add key to inventory, release the key. Oh, very nice. And yeah, let's go look at the safe. So already, I feel like I can get used to this. Open the inventory, grab the key, put it in the lock hole and just kind of twist. Ah, tentacles. Okay. What was that? I need to get this open. Perhaps there's something in evidence storage that can help. Okay, there's already tentacles in my VR puzzle game. That should be great. Storage this thing, okay. All right. I'm sure we confiscated something that can help me crack a safe. It'll be listed on the blackboard. Ah, I see. So someone got arrested for safe cracking and we have to get it from their evidence box, but the box is covered up. So we gotta figure out what letter and number the box has. So one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, six, and the letters. Uh, oh, the letter is the first letter of the last name. P, P, H, H, you get the idea. So it would be C, O, 6. All right. Oh, C, O, 6. Very cool. Open it up. Ah, and here comes the box. Okay, gotta wait. Ah, here we are. What is this? A safe cracker. Same. And this is a clipboard. Oh, I see. So it just shows what it does. It cuts a hole in the middle of the safe. Cool. Well, let's uh, crack this safe then. So give me the inventory. Give me the safe cracker. There we go. I would put it like here. Just kind of, ah, yes. Who is the safe cracker now, buddy? Let's go. Okay, so there's gears? What the? What is my hand doing? Oh my god, I'm cursed. The power of Christ compels you. Alright, just gotta rotate gears, I suppose. The puzzles in this game are usually just mechanically satisfying and interesting mostly for that reason. Oh, what the hell is this? Why is it dark? Oh, okay. That's not terrifying. 
Oh my god. Okay, well we have to investigate that. Surely that's fine. Nothing wrong with this, no. Alright, what is this? Holy fuck. Are we in a horror movie? Forgive my unorthodox approach, detective. But I have a vital information relating to a case you are investigating. I'm sure you have questions, so please take these lenses and let me show you what I cannot explain. This is only the beginning, the craftsman. You're a terrifying fellow, aren't you? What is this? Okay, a box with arrows and lights. So we want the lights to be green. If when I went to the bottom right, it turned red, so. Here I can just make it turn green, okay. And open it. Oh, it's the lenses from this, ow. From this game. Oh, okay, I thought I would definitely put it on my face. This is staple of the room series. You put on the eyepiece and suddenly you can see everything. Oh my God. Um, so someone walked in, went to whatever the hell this thing is. Oh, it's weird, the eyepiece went off. Okay, but I can rotate it. Oh, wait, I want the eyepiece back on. Oh, it stopped rotating, though. What the hell? So, what can I do? Move this? Okay, I moved the thing. Rotate it. Can I grab this, maybe? Rotate things? Just work with the boxes. Satisfying mechanical contraptions. Oh, I see. This is... Like, you're supposed to move it up here, and now it's... Opening up? What's in the box? Oh, it's a platform for this thing I got. This artifact. Well, in you go. Right, this is proper creepy. Not unlike any of the other room games, but it hits way harder in VR. Oh my god, we're in the in-between. Ooh. Went out. Oh, flying paper. I'll take that. Welcome, detective, to the hidden realm of the Null. The disappearances you are investigating are part of something more sinister than you can imagine. I can show you what happened to these people, and perhaps together we can avert any further loss. This document is no ordinary letter. The Null connects it to me, its author. Use the eyepiece to reveal the connection. Find the others, discover their fates, the craftsmen. Okay, use the eyepiece. Ah, it's a hole burning in it. Oh, look at this. It's a dude. Probably the craftsman. Very spooky. What? Oh my god. <laughs> is the British Institute of Archaeology. I couldn't read the rest, but... I do remember this is where the professor disappeared. Holy shit. Okay, well, let's get moving. Check out whatever the hell this thing is. Okay, it's pulling this gold thing on the floor and it's trying to pull, possibly is it a sarcophagus through the cargo? Is it a sarcophagus? Uh, whatever the big thing is, it's on a track and it wants to go through this door. So how do I open the door? What the? What the hell? Well, this is the farthest I can pull it. Okay. Maybe I pull this thing up and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get the stops out. So I've loosened up that and that and that. How do I actually open the door? Through this rope? We'll follow the rope, maybe. It's over here. Alright. The door transposes with a weight? Huh? This goes back and forth, and it's probably what I want. Yeah, yeah, so the handle this way takes care of the door, but the handle this way takes care of the weight? I mean, this? Oh, this weight. Okay, well, I, I want it on the door, I suppose, since that seems to be my goal right now. So then, this thing here goes to that over there? Whatever the hell this is? Oh, there's a nice box. Can I do anything with it? Yeah, this is just a big puzzle to figure out how all these things work. Lots of weird contraptions, a lot of stuff to follow. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I see. And then you pull open the door. Does it latch? Okay, it does. So now I can pull this thing through on the track. Oh, sweet. All right, so was I right? Was this the sarcophagus? Okay, it's definitely the sarcophagus. I'll just bring it all the way in. Maybe latch it with these things. So now it's stuck. Now I can read? What is this? The porter was back, asking about my progress. A curious fellow. He seemed almost amused that I couldn't crack the code. He gave me a parcel, said it had been left for me in the post room. Inside was an odd-looking lens, along with a note that said the lens would help me in my work. Goodness knows how. But at this point, I'm willing to try anything. So the professor was talking about how he received the lens. Is this scrabble? It's a brass weight. Okay, you never know when that will come in handy. Look at this thing. It's hexagonal. Any hexagons on this sarcophagus? I assume I gotta open this eventually. Is there like a beetle, some hieroglyphs? Whatever the hell this is? Well, what about over here? How's this thing? Anything hexagonal? Oh, maybe if I turn this on, I can find out something. Symbols everywhere? I don't know what this is. Find him at the beginning? What does it say? Judge him? Hold on. Judge him. Oh, well, I also wanted to maybe swap this over to the weight. I don't know what the purpose of this is yet, but I can find out eventually. Oh, and that's the symbol on the ground. Judge him? What about this? Oh, this wants to open, but it can't. Can I manipulate other parts of this? Anything else I can do? Oh, I can go over here. There's a weird tool that I can't get. A box, this can rotate. I see the lines passing through the thing. Oh, it's a hexagonal hole. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. Let's put this in. Opening the tool. Some kind of Egyptian tool. Some strange claw-like tip. Is there anything else that can like be rotated? Or maybe if I have the eyepiece, can I see anything? Because yeah, there's two worlds. He waits at the temple. Is there anything else to do here? No, but I did want to mess with the weight. Because now this should... Yeah, I figured. Pull the weight and lower this table. Oh, this is interesting. Are we going to grab the sarcophagus and see under it? I th Maybe? Is it... I don't think it's latched on, though. Oh, so it needs to latch onto it somehow. Like, it looks like these just have to pop out somehow. But I need, like, some sort of circular disc. So that tool isn't going to help. Oh, wait, there's more tools in here. Bah, but they're hidden behind glass. Can I, can I get them to move somehow? Break! Ah, I hit my mic. <laughs> okay, don't break the glass. Yeah, I'm gonna take a sneaky hint. Don't tell anybody. Oh, shit. I forgot how this game works. The, um, this note. It's got shiny stuff. I forgot that in this game, if you turn on the lens with anything shiny, will have like a second form. So it's the circle and judge him find him at the beginning. Like, I gotta work with this circle. There, oh, there it is. Yep. Oh my god. Right, okay. Anything that has particles is interactable with the lens. Remember that. He left something for me. How kind of you. Is it something to use the tool on? It's a box. Oh, I'm hitting my mic. Don't do that. Come on. There we go. This lens looks like it'll fit my eyepiece. Oh, and then this thing now? So it opens whatever the hell that is? 
Yeah, shimmering surfaces, I see. Okay, hold on. What in the hell? Can I interact with this or should I just go over there? Because this looks like a puzzle I can do. Oh, and now the surface is shimmering. Yeah, so I, I can definitely do this puzzle. How do I actually move things though? Is this with the tool? Do I finally use the tool here? Or is it a perspective puzzle? I don't think it's perspective. I think I just need to like move something. Is this grabbable? What? Oh, there is a movable part. Now do I put the tool in? Ah, yes, the tool. Oh my God, okay, 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 okay. We're getting there and then we just line these up. Perfect. What did I get? Another tool. It's got a distinctly shaped head. Remember this head. It's a weird ank. I can't remember the name of it. Whatever. How do I manipulate this thing? Well, I, clearly this wants to be rotated. I did figure out that much. Oh, but an engraved stone disc. You know, mean like one that goes on the sarcophagus? Is that what you're telling me? No, you're not telling me that. No, you are telling me that. You just didn't let me teleport. Yeah, this goes right in here. Put the disc in the thing. And these should come out, right? No? Oh, wait a second. This maybe looks like something the eyepiece can do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is the goal of this puzzle? I do not know. Maybe just match up colors with each other? Like, maybe just make a blue circle and then... Oh, you can... Oh, I see. You have to make each of the three circles have just their color on it. So you take the green and then you bring over the green like this. I understand. And then you bring over the green like this and then rotate, rotate, rotate. What is wrong with you? And then there we go. Now it's all colors. That is the goal of the puzzle. And this is where this thing goes. It's got the distinctly shaped head. And now I rotate. Cool. Yeah, and now it's grabbable. Let's go. It's grabbable by the hooks. Let me hook. Dude, this is sweet. Once you just figure it out and get to a flow state, this game just feels so good. There was a period where I was a little bit stuck. I'm like, what does this tool do? But then I just kind of forgot about how the uh, eyepiece works. So now... Whoa. God, it's just another sarcophagus. I was not ready for a mummy to jump out. Oh, but it's smoking. Smoking hot. I don't know what the hell these do. Let me put on the eyepiece real quick just to make sure. Yeah, okay, nothing's changed. It looks like I gotta put in some sort of weird imprints. Maybe this box? No, this is still not open, but this might be. Yeah, something I can do here? Ah, there we go. Now I can get it. I've got a ceremonial dagger. Whoa, ready to slay some hoes. Where are... What the hell is this? Nothing I can work with right now, but maybe later. Maybe the dagger goes over here? This looks like maybe it could be a dagger receiver. No. Oh, this is a dagger receiver. Now we're talking. How do I... Engraved cylinder. It is octagonal. It's got a circle. And it looks like it consists of some sort of puzzle. Oh, what the... Holy crap! See a little puzzle here. What is my goal? Maybe have all the symbols match? Okay, they match. Oh, they even match the top. What is this box? Is it puzzles on every side? I think so. Well, I can't really manipulate this. I can manipulate something over here. What is this? Some sort of passcode almost. A little triangle fitting? Yeah, I don't have a two symbol code right now. But this. Oh, there's another one. Oh, four symbol code. Okay, where have I seen code? Well, hold on. 
Was this part of the code? Yeah, the teepee hut has a bullseye target. So this goes here, right here. So that's one. Yeah, I need to find more things like this. Well, the bird goes with the weird insect, like the crane in the insect or something like that. So that's something, it's not here. So, oh, I think it's, yeah, actually this isn't the right spot. Too bad I can't move this though. So what I'm actually looking for is where, yeah, this thing goes, like water piece or whatever. Maybe there's something over here that could help. Are we sure this doesn't open? Oh, well, this is a bunch of pairings. Um, none of the symbols, though, are the one I'm looking for. You know, what if I just kind of... Boop. <laughs> there were only four options. Half of a gilded scarab. It's got a square hole. I don't think I was ever missing half of a scarab. I think it's just only going to do half of something right now. Man, I can't find anything with a square hole. I'm going to lose my mind, but I don't think it's usable yet. I just need to find something that can manipulate a triangle like this. I'm so lost. Wait, this is grabbable? Oh my god! Well, what the hell? Okay, ornate golden orb. This thing is weird. Get a weird glowing ball. Seems like it would match up the balls with the sides like this. But it doesn't really do anything. Like, this seems like the obvious thing to do with it, but... Maybe I do, gotta do it in a specific spot? Or maybe there's... Like, something else I could learn? Okay, the hint is literally telling me to do what I've been doing. This is what I don't get. I've been lining up the blue circles with the the holes in the orb surface, but nothing happened. Like, are some configurations more right than others? Maybe I need to properly illuminate them first? Oh, I see. So the middle illuminates it, and then you line it up. Okay, I didn't realize it was being illuminated, like, at all. Well, this is new. Okay, let's find a spot for this to go, because I think this is the only thing I can actually do. I mean, I could put it back. And it's like, hey, I fixed your orb. Nope, it would have snapped. Maybe here? Maybe on this thing now? What? That did not look like it fit. Almost a dial. Oh, and that's where the hexagon goes. It's all coming together now. Holy crap. Okay, so now... Can I rotate these? I can. Where, this is usually like a puzzle where you gotta get something from point A to point B, but wait, what is this something? Oh, I probably have to get to like this point to that point. Okay, maybe I should see which piece ends in the right spot, if any of them do. This one ends in the right spot. So I have to end with this piece, right? Yes, absolutely have to end, come on with this piece. So now find the piece that connects to that. No, this one. So then find one that connects the last two. Here we go. Oh, it's the other half, the scarab. Nice. Is this where they go? No, it doesn't look like this is where they go. Can I combine them though? No, I just gotta find a spot for them. This, oh, these are grabbable tiles. Okay, what's this? Night after night I return when all those ignorant fools have gone home. The lens has opened my eyes. I can't believe I was once as blind as them. The work is hard. My tiredness has become a distraction. I'm starting to hear things, whispers of voices, always loudest near the coffin. Okay, is there another spooky thing gonna be going on with this? Oh yeah, there is. What's up, dude? Paid res respects to the sarcophagus? Does anything change with it? Well, I got the stone imprints. They kind of look like this, but I think where they actually go is on this box. 
to solve the puzzles on the sides of them. So let me see what I can do. Like, I think I gotta take this and put it here. And another thing I know is that this goes here. Okay, but it doesn't have to. Hold on, let me take it with me just to make sure I didn't mess up at the sarcophagus. Like, maybe it does fit, but it doesn't look like the right size. Oh, it is the right size. It, it looks way desized. Okay, but now what? Oh, now it's holding a metal token, and now I can play this game. All right, we've done it. So now I gotta figure out the rules of this game. So this token, I've gotta, oh, I recognize this game actually. I have to pass each of these things once. No, Ugh. this is actually annoying to control. So like I'll pass here. Now it's open, but if I pass through again, it closes. So this needs to go on. Hold on, I'm really close now. Now we make this off. And then we make both of these on. It's the middle lane that's the key. And now I just gotta do it on the other side. And I can finally open this box. Here? Oh god. Nope, stop that. And now off then on, and there we go. <laughs> that was a little finicky, but hey, open the thing. This. Can I grab these? Oh, a wire basket with the head of a falcon. Head of a baboon? And a head of a jackal. Well, it looks like it would go here. Oh, yep. Okay, well, time to see what's in the spooky sarcophagus. Hope there's not, like, a proper order. There's a proper order. There's gonna be a proper order, and I had to pay attention, but I didn't. Oh, but it's right here. So, the jackals to the right side, the baboons at the top, and whatever the hell this thing is, is at the bottom. Cool. Nope, stop that. Go, and go. Nice. That's it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I've unlocked the darkness, and there's the mummy, but it's not that scary, because it's still... For now. Still no spot for the scarab, I think. Well, I'll get back to that mummy. I gotta figure out what to do with the scarab in the meantime. Still nothing to do here. <gasps> oh, the square hole. Oh my god. Yes, it's the beetle. Oh, fantastic. Now we can turn on the eyepiece. Hem. Why is this not, oh, it's because this is still being pulled now. I can turn on the eyepiece. And what is this puzzle? Whoa. Is that all I can do? Twist this? Okay, there's, oh, I can move this. Okay, I see now. Yeah, that's what, I was trying to do this, but it wasn't working before, it was weird. Well, I don't know what the end goal is just yet, but three different things that rotate. See if I can just get a completed arch somehow. Yeah, maybe an arch here is my goal. Oh, how dare you. Nice. And, oh, I've got the Egyptian symbol cast in gold. And, what? Okay, I guess that's just what I received it on. Hey, now I can uh, solve this puzzle. And by solve, I mean definitely guess, because it's way faster this way. All right, well, it's one of these. Nice. Oh, and look at this, it's all coming together. I now can rotate over here. Oh, and Take, no, come on, there we go. There we go. Slide it in. Take the decorated amulet. Let's go on the mummy? Was there a circle hole? There was a circle hole. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, it's its heart. Give me that. A human heart. I had it into inventory. Does it go here? Is this, 
Now, this was done already. What if I put the heart in here? Ah, yes. There's only so much you could do, and look at this. It's another puzzle. Oh, this reminds me of something I've seen otherwise in this map. A scale. Well, that's way too heavy. It beats. Uh oh. Uh, oh, I don't like this. Locusts, probably. Fuck that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna lose my mind. New piece of paper. Huh? It's always been here. He's always been here since the beginning, waiting. Waiting at the beginning, at the temple. They all wait at the beginning. I see them. They aren't blind like me. All right, let's uh, turn on this thing. Oh, who's here? It's getting closer every time, too. Okay, this is always the craftsman, though. He's not that spooky of a dude. What are you doing? What is your deal? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a curious artifact. So this should take me then to the, yeah, to the center point. I'm curious to see where I end up. Let's find out where I end up and then I'll call it an episode. Well, that's two out of four. So two more major sections and then maybe an ending section is how I expect this game to go. It won't be a long series, but it should be a sweet one. It, it's uh, a lot of getting used to. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm the best at this type of puzzle, but I'm still enjoying it. Welcome back, detective. Perhaps now you can understand the danger we face. The artifact you collected now holds the very essence, the soul, if you will, of the professor. His sacrifice will help further my work and bring these arcane forces safely under my control. Onward to another of those lost unfortunates, a servant of God this time. He was searching for some long forgotten relic. You must uncover what he found, the craftsman. Well, on we go. To a temple? To a church? To the land of the holy. Oh yeah, a nice chapel. This'll be fun. I will pick it up next time. Hope you guys have been enjoying. I really hope this doesn't cause headaches to watch. I'm narrowly dodging a headache myself, so I'm gonna have to take a break. I feel like it was impacting my cognitive abilities. At least that's the cope I'm going to go with. I would like to thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more spooky puzzles. I'm sure it'll be fun. I am signing off now. Have a wonderful day and peace.